Taurus, welcome to your week ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. <clears throat> It's an absolute pleasure to uh, to be with you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. Thank you so much for all of your support throughout the year. It has meant the absolute world. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. If you uh, haven't got your seat on the winter solstice session yet, you can get yours on the link in the description box below. With that said, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So. This week, when I went into my intuition, uh, believe it or not, this is a compass. Uh, you know the, the thing that you draw, like if you want to draw a perfect circle, it's got like a needle and you put your pencil in and you use it to twist around and create the circle. And um, when I saw it, I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, you're showing me a compass. Why is it that you're showing me that? And uh, what I heard was uh, the compass is a tool for a specific job. This week, Taurus, whatever your tools are, right, uh, whether that is reaching out to somebody that has the expertise expertise, uh, whether it is uh, using a physical tool to do the job that you need to do, whether it is, um, you know, getting a spreadsheet, getting a cheat sheet, getting a guide, getting, you know, whatever it is, this week, Taurus, you are looking for a tool for something that will assist you to do the job. So there's something this week that you're looking to do, looking to make, looking to complete, and uh, it requires a specific tool. And the reason I saw the compass was because the message was there is the, the tools or the resources that you need are available to you. You just need to look for them. If you haven't seen the Weekly General, check it out uh, because the message for the Weekly General was diligence. And this now starts to make sense, you know, how it all ties in. It's crazy how this all happens. It's amazing. All right. So let's have a look, see what your destiny card is for the week. And this week you get the chariot, right? So whatever it is that you're trying to do, you will achieve, you'll do, you'll do very well. Uh, the chariot card is always about victory, it's always about success, but it's about a win, right? It's about something where you overcome yourself effectively, where you overcome the situation or the terrain uh, and where you achieve your goal, where you, whatever it is that you set out to do, you achieve and you do really well with it. Uh, the destiny card, <coughs> sets that tone it gives that energy right so whatever you're doing you will succeed you just need to find the right tool for the job okay and you have the eight of wands as your direction card so reach out this is a week for you to communicate with people uh, it, you know people at a distance especially this is going to be a big week for communication for all of you uh, emails text messages phone calls you might have you know the phone in one ear type in an email and send in a text at the same time you know it might be a week where you have a lot of communication with a lot of people. It's gonna be a very busy week for you. And I say that because the Chariot card is a very fast card as well. It's got a very fast, very dynamic energy to it. Uh, and the Eight of Wands is a very fast card and it's lots of communication happening, like, you know, left, right and center. Reaching out to people this week. I don't know why I keep seeing Elon Musk. I don't know, <laughs> I just keep seeing them like, Elon, get out of there, go away. Um, so whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're creating, one of the things that I remember reading about him is uh, this guy that owns a company said, you know, years ago, he got an email from him and he was asking him all these questions, like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then when the guy said to him, like, you know what? No, I can't do it for that price. Elon Musk was like, that's cool. Because he'd already got the knowledge that he needed. So it was like, okay, you know what? I know exactly now what I'm looking for. I just need to find somebody that's gonna do it at the right price. So for you guys this week, you are contacting with, you're communicating with somebody that has the knowledge, the information that you need. Remember, even knowledge and information are a tool to get done what it is that you need to get done. So you have the resources available, just uh, just find it, all right? So let's have a look, see 
what your insight card for the week is the fool this is a brand new beginning something new is something fresh is coming in for you this week taurus and it's very very exciting i have to say um you know new things new places new people but big communication uh, so this week you might stumble across something that ends up being a, an amazing tool for you uh, but it might be that it comes through somebody that you didn't expect and it could be that through the process of looking for the perfect tool you end up aligning with someone or something that is just absolutely perfect for you, your life path and whatever it is that you're doing or trying to create. Uh, this is going to be a very great week for you guys. I can't wait. Have an amazing week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Take care. I'll see you soon.